Guys, I don't know if you know how exciting this is, but if you're watching this video, it means that you're at the point where you feel like you are ready to scale, that you're seeing all of the different indicators to say that your company is ready to start prepping its scale. So this is awesome. I'm gonna take you guys through a few of the things that you're gonna really need to think about to prep before you actually start to scale. Because every company is so individual, and I don't know if you guys are a service or a product or everything, I'm never gonna try and get too, too, too specific, but I will give you guys examples and stories to help you guys kind of understand the different ways that you can scale and the different things that you need to do to make sure it's an awesome success. Because this is a scary time and there are a lot of people who scale their companies. There have been ones around here who've gotten to a billion and then they mess it up and it comes all the way down to maybe 300 million. Now that sounds like, man, they still got 300 million, but it also means they left $700 million on the table because they didn't know what they were doing or they didn't know when to exit. They didn't know when to get out. They didn't have their exit strategy set up properly. So they got stuck and they lost basically two thirds of the value of their company, which is stupid and it didn't even need to happen. So let's go over a few things that you can do to prep as you're getting ready to scale. Number one is debating whether or not you need to raise capital. Now this one is huge. And the reason that I like to bring this one up is because in a past video I talked about investment money is not always your right answer and where the money comes from is very important. If it's coming from an actual investor that you want to jump in be with, it should probably be somebody who not just brings money to the table, but also brings industry experience, connections, things that are gonna help your company go from here to here, and they've done it. And so they're bringing more value than just money because if all you need is capital, then easily, if you're at this point and you have regular revenue growth, you should be able to very easily go to a bank or a credit union and secure whatever funds that you need in order to actually get your growth going. So be careful about giving away equity at this point, but the one place that you may want to give away equity is gonna be on our last point about hiring A plus talent. This is going to be a game changer and we'll get there at the end. But the next one is tech and infrastructure. Your company is going from being basically a small child to being a full-fledged adult. It is a lot of growth pains that you're gonna be going through with your company. So recognize what technology have you been using and for where you want to go, what technology is going to be required to get you there? And not just that, almost more importantly, what infrastructure do you need to now implement to handle the new demands of your growing pains, of your new company, and of all of the new sales that you guys are bringing in? of this huge chunk of the market that you're going to try and scrape out. Number three is legal and com uh, compliance. Legal and compliance is huge because a couple things. One is likely if you're now at the point where you're making maybe a million and you're an S corp, you may be looking at things such as turning into a C corp, which means you're gonna have different legal you know, requirements for that. There are a few other things that if you guys want a video, I should probably make a video on this about making founders shares and turning your company into a C-Corp so that when you sell it, you have the option of potentially paying no taxes as long as you don't actually cash out for a few years. Really cool stuff. So there's a lot of legal to look at. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have everything dialed away, everything set up, especially if you're gonna be giving away any equity. Compliance is gonna be important because as you grow into a new company, that means you're gonna be doing a lot of expanding. You might be going into different states where they have different laws, different permits, different licenses, different, you know, different things, different laws that you're gonna run into that you didn't know about. And having your strong legal team to help you to actually not make those mistakes and to make sure you're always within compliance is gonna be extremely important as you're growing to make sure it's smooth. Number three, Five is hiring and culture fit. This is enormous. If you, This is the one spot where so many people mess up. They run into this spot where they go, we're gonna start scaling and they start hiring people not even worrying about it. When you were first starting your company, you were so careful about your hires because you wanted to make sure that it was somebody that was actually one, worth your dollar back when it was really hard to actually make money. Two, that they were actually gonna get work done and three, that they actually, you actually wanted them there. So hiring, as you hire, especially right now, still, still, still make sure they fit the culture of the company or else your company is going to have more problems to deal with 
as it's growing and that's the last thing you want. Clear vision and strategy. This is so important. If you're about to prep to do any sort of scaling, you need to make sure that everybody is on the same page as far as the vision. And when I may say clear vision, I mean clear as water, clear as crystal. It has to be so plain, so clear that every department head, every sales team, every marketer is on the same point because otherwise as you begin to scale, the marketing team starts to think that, oh, this is the message and the sales team thinks it's this and the department head is going, well, I don't know, yeah, it's something like that. And you end up getting mixed market messaging as you're trying to scale and you just get confused customers and confused customers never buy. So making sure that you have an extremely clear vision and a strategy will help you to actually implement this correct new infrastructure that you're trying to do. Your new infrastructure is gonna be based around your growth and it may be in steps where you're going to add in a new department here and then later another two departments here and you're gonna mix and match or maybe different people. You have to, again, have a strategy and be ready for things to go wrong. If a department head decides to leave while you're scaling, who is gonna take their place? These things that you don't really think about happening always happen. So be ready for all of them. Make sure you have a solid strategy that is clear and everybody knows where the target is. Next one, preparedness for an increased demand. This is humongous. There are so many companies that they begin the scale, they take on the investment money, they start pumping their marketing, they move into new markets and they don't realize that they're gonna have all these growing pains where, man, oh, we didn't know that shipping this product to this state was gonna cost more and we don't have a facility there, so actually we're losing money on sending product there. We didn't think this through. We should have gone and actually built up a store, you know, a, an excess of our product and put it in some sort of a, a, you know, a facility to hold it for shipment and everything else so that we could keep our prices, you know, at where they're at and you actually keep a margin. Different things that you're going to run into when you expand that you weren't ready for. So making sure that wherever you are going to be selling or however you are going to be expanding and scaling, making sure that you have prepared and you have this prepared excess, you know, either employees or product or whatever it is so that you can actually handle the demand that's coming into your company. And then last one, and probably the most important, hire A plus talent. Now for the A plus talent, you will pay a premium. You will pay more and that's okay because for what you will pay for these people, you're going to get 10 X the results. Whatever you're paying them, if you're paying them maybe a 30% increase on whatever they're doing, whatever you might pay someone else, you are going to get that 10x result and that is going to help your company actually hit its goals, actually perform as it's growing. You want to find people who have been in your industry that actually have been through a scale and they actually know what they're doing. And if you find those people, all of this is going to be so much easier because all of the unknowns, the black swans, the things that you don't see coming are now going to be made clear by someone who has experience doing exactly what you're trying to do. They will take over and the best thing that you can do as an owner of your company is hire them, give them all the information that they can get and then get out of their way. Just let them do their thing and they're gonna take you the rest of the way. So if you're ready to scale, these are the things that I would do to actually start prepping for your scale.